Hi guys, Sorry Dubbed here and today I'm doing a video review on the iStorage Cloud Ashore. Now this isn't to be confused with the actual memory stick, the DataShore Pro 2 that also uh, iStorage do. If you're interested in something that actually has a built-in storage, make sure you do check out in the description below for my full length review. Now this is a almost like an encryption module which can be used with uh, cloud providers. By cloud provider there's, there's a list at the back, uh, that's Dropbox, Amazon Drive, um, Apple Cloud, Google Drive and OneDrive, pretty much all the major platforms that you can expect. Now this is very much in the same sort of vein as um, the DataShore Pro 2. It's a small little USB drive um, that has a um, keypad on it and it's powered by a USB. Now this isn't, as I mentioned before, like the DataShore Pro, um, the DataShore Pro 2 because it doesn't have an actual physical storage chip um, on, on board. In other words, you can't save files to the drive. It is, in fact, just a way of you authenticating and providing an extra layer of security for your cloud um, uh, drives. Now, in this review, I'm going to show you and showcase um, the functionalities of it and also give you uh, my opinions. Now, the most important thing is actually the pricing because the pricing of the, um, uh, the, the drive um, can be found on um, iStorage's website. So if I just zoom in over here so you guys can see, and I do apologize, I'm on a laptop, I'm just working somewhat remotely at the moment, but um, you'll be able to see over here that um, uh, there is three separate um, things that you can purchase. Now, I'm going to try and break this down for you um, in, in the best way I can. But uh, the first thing is obviously the module itself. What I have in front of me is the Cloud Assure encryption module. If I press next over here, you can customize it if you so wish, but the total price is £99. So if you want to purchase this um, and what you can see in the video today, it's going to be £99. However, if you're someone who works at an enterprise or if someone um, you're working in like a business and you want to share uh, drives, you'll be interested in getting the Key Writer app. Now the Key Writer app, well, it'll, it does what it says on the tin it basically clones your um, main um, key into multiple keys so you're gonna need uh, more keys as in more encryption modules so it's gonna uh, bump up the price uh, but again you can not have to customize it you can uh, edit the quantity let's say let's put three in um, and then you've got the uh, license um, number you want with the um, with the, the key uh, writer. So for example, in this case, we put three, so we're gonna put three over here. You can see it's gonna come up to 995. And obviously because we, choose, we chose three keys, it comes to 326 pounds 85. Now, if I were to go back and add another layer on top of that, this is the remote management cons console. Now, remote management console basically is the most comprehensive way of managing your drives. In other words, if you are a, uh, a manager, an IT manager of sorts, and you want to manage the drives um, virtually, essentially, via a software, then you can do so via the remote management console. So again, I'm just going to go through it, just put, um, uh, let's put three uh, on terms of the quantity, um, we're going to put three in terms of license code for the key writers because we want them all to be the same, and then over here you can now see that um, the number that you need, so for example three for one year, so it's per year, it's like a license uh, for, for this software, I'm going to put three, and then if I press next, you can see now it comes to 386 pounds and seven pence. So just gives you an idea of the pricing plans and what you should be expecting. But as I mentioned in the beginning, it's, it's all, what I'm gonna be reviewing over here and showing you is the actual module itself, the, the core uh, base of it, the thing that can be found for 99 pounds. You will need to download software in order to, um, to have this. Uh, the one that we're gonna be looking at is the Cloud Assure client app. Um, and as I mentioned before, if you do want the key writer and remote management console, you're gonna to have to get these separately. As you'll be able to see from the website, they're all available on Windows. Uh, However, Mac OS is somewhat limited to the client app, so you have to bear that in mind if you're using a Mac platform. At least at the time of making this video, there's no Mac download for the key writer or the remote management console. Um, of course, I could be wrong, but nevertheless, um, that's pretty much it. So now let's get into um, the uh, demonstration and a little bit, a bit about uh, the key module. So first of all, um, what you'll want to do is if you do get the uh, module is to charge it for about 20 to 30 minutes and then also change the admin p, uh, pin. Sorry, The admin pin, um, it's pretty detailed um, in the little quick starter guide that's provided um, in the package. Um, if you were to lose this, then you can always Google it and look online. Um, now in terms of 
are powering on. It's very much similar to the Datashore Pro 2. Hopefully my camera will pick it up. Uh, but um, it's it's extremely simple to operate. Now in my case I've put the code to 1337 1337 and unlock and you'll see it'll be able to unlock in just a bit. When it unlocks it goes to green um, and now it means I can put it into my USB port which I'm going to do right now. And my PC you, as you'll be able to hear it, picks up there's a storage drive or something that's been connected as you normally expect with uh, with a Windows um, a Windows machine. Now I want to show you that you can't quite access the drive. You can see over here there's my local disk over here C and then the D is the well the Cloud Assure um, uh, drive. It's just not there and you can see it's just ejected itself because it's gone to lock itself right there but you can see over there you can't access it via a regular drive whereas not the case with the Datashore Pro 2 which will show up as a drive. It'll be locked but then when you unlock it itself it'll come up as a drive and depending on the storage it'll give you that um, storage time. Now again I want to show you another thing before I get into um, um, unlocking the drive. Uh, so again it's a locked drive right now you'll be able to see over here it's on red and now I'm going to enter the password for um, for, for the app, the Cloud Assure um, app. So just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna unplug the USB um, and I'm gonna then enter the password uh, for my account, which I'm not gonna tell you. Um, and there we go. And if I press enter, you can see over here a notification comes up and says, um, you have not um, plugged it in essentially. So right now I'm gonna get the um, get the drive, uh, do the exact same thing what I did on video just before, um, and put in my uh, pin. So it's one three three seven one three three seven. I know, good choice of numbers. Um, and once it is unlocked, which is now, I'm gonna plug it in. You can hear it plug in, and I'm gonna press OK over here. And now when I log in it's going to actually open my folder. And of course, like any sane human's gonna do when they get an encryption drive for 99 pounds and um, get anything like that, they're gonna put their dank memes folder um, in there, which is extremely important <laughs> wherever you go. The reason I wanna do this is because this was a folder on my Dropbox, and yes, I do have a dank memes folder on my Dropbox. I know it's always useful to have your memes on the go. Now, what I'm gonna do, you can see over here, I'm gonna access the, the drive, and you can see there's all my dank memes, as you might expect. Now, this is great. It's great to see all, 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 the, all, all the pictures over here, but you can see they're not encrypted. There's nothing special over here uh, that protects them. Now, if I, open, if I were to open my Dropbox, uh, which I'm just gonna do right now, open up um, in File Explorer, you can see that my Dropbox, again, has the same files in there. Now, the reason I want to mention this is because, um, well, you can see there's 72 items at the bottom left, 72 items at the bottom left. Now, the reason I want to mention this is because now what I'm going to do is I have a Word document, a Word document over here, and I'm going to literally drag and drop it into my Dank Memes folder on my Dropbox folder, okay? Very important, on my Dropbox folder. Drop it, and when I drop it, you can see it synchronized, and then we get a um, notification. You are saving this tested.docx uh, file. Do you want to um, save it as an encrypted file in the folder? If I were to press yes, what you'll see is that folder, or that file, sorry, gets transformed into a locked icon. Now that is in my Dropbox. You can see that in my Dropbox it is literally a, a file and it's just hidden in terms of that. We get the name and um, the, the, the type of file, but that's about it. We can't access it. However, if you look in over here on the actual drive, the encryption drive itself, you can see that it's got a little green icon that's unlocked and it actually is a file. So if I were to open it, it will actually open up my um, my, my testing document and we'll be able to access it. If I open it on Dropbox, it will pretty much divert me to the folder, as you can see right here, it just opened up the folder of my Dank Memes folder within the Cloud Asher um, a, a drive. And therefore redirects me to be like, look, if you wanna open this file, you have to go into this um, folder and open it. Now, if I were to unplug the um, the drive. So again, it will say you've been disconnected and you can no longer access this. If I were then to try and access that file, which I can no longer do it based on um, on on the app, you can see that the, the the 
the folder is closed. If I were to try and open this now, it will try and open up that folder. And again, if I were to try and log into this, it will say that you will need to plug in your drive. Now, if I were to try and copy and paste or cut and paste, let's say, um, and I'll just get rid of the one on my f um, desktop. If I try and cut and paste it, which I can happily do, I say move it out of Dropbox, um, I will say move out of Dropbox, and then I try and open this file, it's going to again ask me to open up the, um, the, the, the client app. So in other words, this encrypted file cannot be opened without this um, a client app being enabled. But then the client app won't work without me having a physical drive with my pin code. So essentially what this brings is an added layer of security. Not only do you have an encrypted drive, a 256 AES encrypted drive with a hard um, pin code that you have to enter, but you've also got a username and password that you're going to need for your client app. That's two extra layers of security for that one file that you need on there. Now, um, iStorage have actually summarized it pretty well. They've got a video on YouTube. Again, I'll link that down in the description below so you guys can check that out. But essentially it says that, look, a hacker tries to get that file. So of course they can access your normal files which haven't been encrypted. But if you've encrypted all these files, then what you'll find is that a hacker not only needs the password to your Dropbox or whatever account that or cloud provider you use, not only do you need that, not only do you need the password and username to the uh, Cloud Assure uh, client app, but you will also need a physical, the physical drive itself or a clone physical drive that's been authenticated by an admin um, to have that. And not only that, you'll actually need the pin code as well. So even if this was to be lost and someone were to figure out everything else, they'll still have to figure out the pin code, which they wouldn't know. So. In other words, this is the most secure way you can potentially secure your files, folders on a cloud platform. It seems pretty comprehensive and it seems pretty, well, mind boggling at first, but when you get down to it, the actual drive itself is a pretty simple drive which allows an extra layer of, of encryption and protection from hackers. Now, is this a product that I would recommend? Now, if you are someone who is a IT professional who has, I don't know, a variety of different, um, a, a variety of different uh, platforms and also users and lots of important data, then I would very much encourage you to try not only the client app, but to get the remote management and the key writer applications. I'm not trying to, I'm not sponsored here by iStorage. I'm trying to tell you quite honestly and quite frankly that a single key on its own with a client app is not gonna really bring your business any good. It's actually something that you want to, to kind of share with everyone who's gonna be accessing your files and folders which are found on the cloud. If however you're someone like me that basically uses um, cloud storage um, on the go, and like this is a perfect example because this is not my main PC, this is my laptop and I'm working remotely, so it's a perfect example to show this. Um, essentially, this is a way of actually getting your files and folders securely and know that no one else can access them. Is this something for me? Personally, no, I would say I would much prefer the Datashore Pro 2 because then I can actually save my files and folders on this and I'm not someone who has very sensitive data but if I have sensitive data then this to me is secure enough because someone has to not only steal the drive but know the passcode of this drive and then access potentially encrypted files within this drive which is plenty of security for me but if you if I wanted to take it a step further and I wanted to go via the cloud then of course something like the cloud Azure will provide me that extra layer of security that the data Shore pro won't be able to do so uh, purely because my Dropbox has its own password and username and also the Cloud Assure client app has its own username and password so it adds those extra layers of security that I wouldn't get with the data Shore pro 2. So that's pretty much it. That's been an overview, review, and my honest thoughts and opinions on how to use this product. That's pretty much it, guys. I've been totally dubbed. If you've enjoyed this honest, unbiased, unpaid review, as I said, iStorage have sent me this out for a trial. That's pretty much it. If you like that, make sure you give it a like. Subscribe if you want to see more um, honest uh, videos from myself. Favor and share if you feel this will be helpful to someone. And let me know in the comments below what you make of the product. All right, guys, I've been totally dubbed. 
Take care and bye-bye.